Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of what I prepped today. Actually this wasn't today. This is some of it's today, most of it's over the past couple of weeks. Um, as soon as I heard about some shortages going on I decided that my rotating can rack which I made, which I really need to make another one of, it was getting kind of empty and I wanted to go ahead and get some more vegetables to fill it up. So I didn't, I don't generally go to the store and say, okay, you know, I'm going to buy seven cases of vegetables. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Although in the current situation that we're in now, I would not do that. So when I went to the store, I, I'd pick up a case of peas. And I, I did it a case at a time instead of, a, you know, one vegetable at a time because I want to remember what I have. So I think I did buy the peas at the same time, two cases of peas, but it was, you know, two different types of peas. And then um, uh, the next time I went, I would pick up, you know, the stewed tomatoes and then the next time diced tomatoes. Or I might even go to one Aldi one day, one Aldi the next day, or even a couple of Aldis in the same day, just so that I don't short a store too much. And again, if they, you know, have 50 cases and there's no shortages, then I wouldn't have a problem doing this all at one time. But I know, I mean, we all knew what was coming. So I was getting them uh, stocked up a little at a time. And then I think I may end up making some chicken soup and we like carrots in the chicken soup and I'm not going to buy uh you know fresh carrots now uh to save to make soup later and I'm not going to um run out to the store later uh, we did go out to the store today and then my husband and I pretty much said that's it we are absolutely done if we run out of anything else we're just out of it and that's all there is to it so I did have I picked up my grandson for his normal weekend here and his schools in Pennsylvania are now closed for two weeks. Uh, 10 business days, I believe is what they call that. They, they didn't say two weeks, but so what we, uh, started looking around and, uh, I like to get foods that he likes. So I picked up some of the stuff at Sam's club, but I did a Sam's club video showing, all the empty shelves of course it was a day late simply because he kept walking in front of the camera and I had to blur his face out so uh, they didn't have any potatoes he wanted potato salad they didn't have any and Aldi didn't have them and then Walmart doesn't have them uh, I had been wanting some cabbage to uh, make some halupki and then uh, I couldn't find the ground meat. So they didn't have any ground meat at Sam's Club. They didn't have any ground meat uh, at Walmart the day I went. But when I went to Aldi, they didn't have any either. They did have uh, cabbage. And it was 99 cents a head, not 99 cents a pound. I mean, um, Walmart had it for 79 cents a pound. And a couple of other stores had it for 33 cents a pound and 49 cents a pound. But when I went to Aldi, it was 99 cents a head. And it's a product of USA. So I got that. I got three big heads to make halupki. But I don't have any ground meat. So I thought, okay, fine. I'll just make halushki. So I'm like now looking for onions and bacon. And we had some bacon and we've got some onions. But then we went over to... Walmart today and we were lucky enough to find this 10 pounds of ground beef for $21. So I'm going to go ahead and use this to make the halupki. But as you know, Sam's Club's out of rice, Aldi's out of rice, Walmart's out of rice. Guess who's not out of rice? The person who puts this stuff in these Mylor bags and seals them for the next 30 years. So Although I just did this last month, put these in the Mylar, the reason I chose the parboiled rice instead of the older uh, white rice that's probably about four or five years old is because there was a little question in my mind, and I haven't totally resolved it, about whether parboiled rice uh, lasts as long as white rice. I know brown rice doesn't last very long at all. And But I also know that the parboiled rice is boiled with the husk on to um, 
and it leaves some of the nutrients in there. Although I don't know how long that will actually uh, store. So I decided for that reason to go ahead and use the parboiled rice to make the halupki. And then what we also did was, uh, it, I think I told you not too long ago that we prep for the pets. And so this month was my month to actually just get some extra dog food. And we drove and picked up, I think, 440 pounds of raw dog food. We do that every six weeks, not four, 440 pounds. I ordered extra so I could freeze dry it for the dogs. And then when I get there, somebody had 40 pounds of human grade ground chicken that was expired for $10. They had like, I don't know, a lot of cases. We just bought one case because we didn't have a lot of room. So with that dog food, we ended up filling up our entire uh, upright freezer and the freezer on one of our smaller refrigerators. Then we had to thaw some and I'm already done uh, freeze drying the ground chicken. And then um, we just didn't have a, a lot of room left in the freezer for more human meat. So I got this and we already have uh, another refrigerator that has a freezer and it has some human meat in it. Uh, and we, of course, we have canned meat and freeze dried meat that we can eat. But I asked my husband uh, if he wanted another pepperoni and he said no. Uh, he still had one and I thought, you know, yeah, but this doesn't require refrigeration. So I think maybe we should pick one up. And so we did. We just picked up one. Could I have gotten more? I sure could have. But you know what? I'm not, I don't want to be that person who goes and buys every single stick of pepperoni whenever the stores are already late, low on meat. We have um, one of these in the refrigerator that he cuts up for work with his cheese. And then uh, now we have this one and it doesn't need refrigerated. So uh, we're kind of lucky there. And if you're keto, just remember that pepperoni and cheese makes a nice little snack and it's keto. So... What else did we get today? Uh, we bought some comfort food and hopefully we'll be able to resist this and, and you know, unless we really need it. Um, I mean, who needs it? But uh, yeah, I think I told you before I like those. He used to eat Cheetos all the time. And so we, we just got that just in case. So I want to show you that what else we did here was uh, I've had this in my storage for quite some time and it's probably actually expired. But when I did that Sam's Club video the other day showing you what everything was empty, this is the liquid elderberry natural. But if you look at these ingredients and ingredients are listed in the order of, um, um, you know, moreness, is it a word? Moreness. So they've got water, fructose, malic acid, uh, natural mixed berry with other natural flavors, colored with, what is that, cochineal extract and caramel, sodium benzoate, maltodextrin, and honey. It doesn't even say elderberry is an ingredient unless the elderberry is the natural mixed berry with other natural flavors. What the heck is that even about? So I, I showed you on that video that all the uh, elderberry was gone. And I said, I wonder if the people actually read the label. That's kind of what I meant. This is this is sugar water. I don't know what the percentage of elderberry is in it. When we started um, being concerned about things years ago, such as avian flu and things like that, we had um, just started learning about elderberry. So we did buy a couple of these just in case, and we're actually going to start taking this to use it up. And then I had also bought dried elderberries, and then my husband who makes wine also made this tincture with, uh, what was this? It says 100 proof vodka. He has on there that it's antiviral, take one teaspoon a day for flu and bird flu. So... That is what we learned at that time. And what was at that time, <laughs> September of 2006, is when he made this. So we're actually going to get ready to pop the cork on one of these uh, elderberry vodkas. And after we use this one, if we can stomach that because of all that sugar, we'll go ahead and use this uh, one teaspoon a night before we go to bed. 
And so that's what we have. And that should last uh, quite some time because there's only us. And of course, we can't give this to the grandson because it's vodka. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's what we did today. And uh, we also, I also got another one of these. Uh, what is that called? The rotisserie chickens. We actually got the bigger one today. We got two of those the other day. And um, between the four of us, my son and my husband and my grandson and I, we finished those. And then, uh, so we got this one because my grandson wants potato salad and chicken salad. And I said, well, which do you want? And he said, both mixed together. And now nah, I'm not doing that. You can mix them together, but I'm not mixing them together. So that's it. That's what I'm doing today. I'm actually going to make a huge pot of cabbage rolls with the parboiled rice. And then I'm going to uh, make some chicken salad for tomorrow. And I believe until I have the time to go put these, I, I think I want to clean my rack off first. So I think I'm going to actually wrap these in some saran wrap to uh, stack them just so they don't fall all over the place. Or maybe I won't. I'm not real sure how we're going to do that. But that's it. That's what I prepped today. And let me just tell you that we have decided that we are not going out anymore at all. Of course, my husband will go to work. Um, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to uh, kind of self-quarantine. And then I think I'll go outside. I can take the dogs to the dog park. I, I'm not going in places like stores and things like that although today we did both wear our gloves as the other day um, my grandson and I both wore our gloves and we saw quite a few people starting to wear masks out in public now as well so uh, one shorting that I have realized on preps that I've wanted to get were some cloth diapers for uh, when you have grandkids who aren't potty trained yet. Uh, so you don't, I mean, you can stock up on uh, disposable diapers, but they're so big and bulky and it, they're so size specific and situation specific that I didn't have, I don't have a lot of grandchildren in diapers so I didn't want a lot of those but cloth diapers are definitely something to look into after this crisis is over do I recommend getting them now probably not because if you're looking on Amazon for anything then you probably realize that everything every seller out there is price gouging and you know a few other times i've mentioned the price gouging and i always get the comments that you know are kind of negative towards me and that's okay because people say well what do you expect it's supply and demand you should have prepared sooner okay supply and demand should have prepared sooner that doesn't excuse price gouging when the cost of the tissues that I bought for right under a dollar a box, fifteen forty-two, sixteen dollars for eighteen boxes of antiviral tissues are now selling for six dollars a box, and the masks that I bought um, tripled in price, and then after they tripled in price, they tripled again. That's price gouging. That's just downright ignorant, in my opinion. I, it is. I mean, toilet paper, I've seen toilet paper for sale, and I don't know if it's a Facebook joke, but I've seen toilet paper for sale for $100 for a, a case that should be $10. You know what, guys? Don't pay that. Use a rag. I don't know. I mean, but if you want to pay it, pay it. But I just did a, a gift of a pack of toilet paper and some hand sanitizer and things like that, uh, tissues, to... Uh, somebody who needed them and I know that they don't prep because it's a big money issue. The people that we gifted them to do not overspend or anything like that the, well, that I'm aware of. But anyway, that's it. Uh, that's what I prepped today. And every time I say I'm done, I keep going. So let me know in the comments. Are you seeing more people in masks? Are you wearing gloves when you go to the store? Or do you think that's just unwarranted? Are you using a lot of hand sanity? Are you staying in? What are you doing? And uh, most of all, don't be scared. Be prepared and be blessed.